This is Craft Room Crash. Now, Phoenix is known as the most western suburb of Chicago, which means we've got a lot of Cubs fans here, and that includes DIYer James Welniak. He's known for his sequence creations, but how does he combine his love for the Cubs with his love for glam? Let's go crash his craft room and find out what James is making today. Hey, James. Hi, James. I'm so glad you're here. Me too. I would offer you some coffee, yeah. but I would much rather show you my craft room. So come out with me. Okay, great. You have sequins, right? Oh, I love it. This is the craft room? I love it. This is the craft room. My craft room is also my work from home office. Huh? Everything is piled away in closets and drawers. I just liked working with my hands. It allows me to kind of be myself. Whoa, uh, it's on the now we're getting to the good yes. stuff. I've evolved using sequence really because it's something that really stands out. Doesn't it look fabulous on me? And then when people outside notice it and go, wow, where did you get that? I'm like, I made it. So we're gonna make a bag, right? Yes. Um, can I pick out some? Can I pick out some sequins? Go ahead. All right, man. I'm ready to work. What are we doing? So what we're gonna make today is what I call a back baggie. I need you to be my helper and actually cut the circle. Cut out the circle. It all starts with a pattern. This is your template out of foam board. Yes, and there's a reason for it. You have to understand measurement. You have to understand proportion. Cut, and you see how the sequence just flies? Yes, it's like confetti. And you slowly start putting this together with your hands. I'm gonna buy you some new scissors. Okay, I'll get that back. <laughs> Here's a little pair. No, they don't Sorry, work. I know. They don't work either. So yeah, kind of what I do is I literally just line all this stuff up and just start pinning it. All right, so now we got limited space. And this becomes the sewing, the table. sewing table. So this is probably the hardest part of this process. And the rest of this, if the denim and the needle and everything else behaves, it's pretty, pretty easy. So you're gonna just sew this on the sequence part, yeah. right? And all, all you wanna do is just do a light, and then just a placement so it doesn't mm. hurt. So this is where your glasses really help you. You're right at the edge. Now it's just like putting together a little sandwich. So you always may wanna make sure that your That's right sides are together. So I just put the grommets in. The last step of this process is to actually thread. That's basically it. I love it, it's fabulous. Thank you so much. Thanks so much to James. Now we all know how to make a World Series winning bag. You better enjoy it because it may not happen for another 108 years. That's what James is making in his craft room. What are you making in your craft room? We'll see you later.